Hey, what's going on everybody? Gavin here. Welcome back to another video. We haven't watched Bleach or Jojo in a while. I feel like it's been like two weeks or something. That's because we were wrapping up WandaVision. I've been reacting to so much stuff about Marvel right now. I'm going to be watching some big movies soon and I'm, I'm just doing a bunch of other things right now. So these have been on a delay. But hopefully we can get back into the flow of uploading some Jojo and Bleach and uh, Star Wars and Clone Wars, of course. But anyways, last time on Bleach, we got introduced to... I hope I'm saying his name right. I wrote it down here. Ur, is there Uryu Ishida? And he was like a, he's a Kinsei, which was a tribe that existed over 200 years ago that defeated Hollows. Like they killed them instead of banishing them to the Soul Society. Or I guess bringing them, not really banishing them because it's kind of a good thing for them. Yeah, that's what happened last episode. He had like that big blue bow. We saw a flashback um, to the Kinsei tribe long time ago and there was like a bunch of them they had yellow bows for some reason maybe it was just like the flashback making it look like they had yellow bows or something but um yeah they like they use bows to kill hollows it got introduced to that and then i think at the end of the episode um ichigo and Uria or Uryu ishida i'm just gonna call him ishida so him and ichigo were about to like face off and battle each other and yeah that's basically where it left off hopefully i remember everything correctly and yeah let's get into this episode but yeah i'm working on a bunch of stuff right now um the wandavision full review we're gonna be starting captain america and the winter soldier soon then we're gonna be watching um a bunch of justice league dceu stuff to prepare for justice league and in a week justice league the snyder cut comes out so i'm gonna try to react to that as well probably break it up into like four different parts since it is a four hour movie, which is crazy. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a lot of storage. I don't even know if I have enough storage to record all that on my computer. Jeez. Okay, well, I don't know. Anyways, that's all coming very soon. So look forward to that. Some DC stuff, some Marvel stuff, and then more Marvel stuff because Captain America, or not Captain America, um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier starts soon as well in one week. So lots of stuff coming. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Okay, anyways, let's get into this. Oh, yeah, 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 the face-off. What is that? Like another pill thing? It's a bait for hollows. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like a little monkey bomb from COD Zombies. Mm, oh, uh-oh. How many come? How many does it attract? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, it opens a portal. What the heck? What's happening? Did he just shoot a bow at it? Dude, this guy's powerful. That's number one. Oh no, his sister. Does this guy not have high spiritual energy too? That the Hollows will attack? I mean, because... Maybe he can hide it though. I think he's able to like keep it concealed. Einstein? Yo, Einstein. Who's this kid? A new, new kid with high spirit energy. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> so this dude got like thrown around and got some spirit energy in him now. He can see spirits. Uh oh. Hollows be coming. Yeah, this dude knows probably. All the hollows are coming. Whoa, that one looks cool. That's the first actual, like, cool looking hollow I've seen. Oh, it's gonna die instantly. Okay. Dude, that guy destroys them. Wow. They're like, they're like home in on them. Yeah, they do. 
Jeez. Well, that's not very skillful if he's just homing, if he has homing arrows. If he's getting the call as soon as the hollows also die. <laughs> he gets a call for a hollow and then it just goes right out. That's kind of cool. <laughs> she got a UAV. All these kills. Advanced spy plane. I mean, some bait broke. Rukia. Oh, what the heck? That dude looks like a caterpillar. Like a pig, bull caterpillar. Ooh. That hollow looks like a doom um, creature. Oh, here he goes. Dude, he's so cool. Chad, dude, I want Chad to be more of a part of this. Well, there's probably gonna be some hollows coming for him since he has a lot of spirit energy. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, back up the hospital. Uh oh. Only well, he's gonna see it. <laughs> I mean, I've seen him in, in the the opening kind of spoils it, but he gets like a huge metal arm. I wonder when he gets that. Is it right here? I mean, he's alone. No one's around him to help him. He has to do this on his own. Yeah, and then you can do your insane powers. Oh. I thought Chad ran into him. Uh, uh, oh, okay. He got a little token of the parakeet. <laughs> little necklace of it. Ooh. Could she not sense it behind him? Oh, she could see it. Jeez, that thing is big. Chad. What does it want? It doesn't really seem like it's attacking. It's so clearly visible. Wasn't she only able to see like, like Chad was before? Ooh. So she, her spirit energy is getting higher. Like she can start seeing them now completely. She'll be his eyes. That's kind of cool. That thing is huge. I just noticed. It's really, really big. Oh, the music is speeding up. Like the tempo. Oh, that's the first one. Oh my gosh, dude. This is a cool scene. I like this. Tempo is so high. Oh my gosh. I like this. This is probably the best scene out of Bleach right now. So far. Come on, Chad. You can do it. Oh no. Please. Please. Please move. What's happening? Oh. What the heck is that? That Chad when he was young. <laughs> Little Chad. What if that's his dad? Oh my gosh. So that you can hurt others. My body is big. So that I can protect. Oh, he's a tank. He's an armored, armored titan. Been saying it since we got introduced to Chad. He's the armor titan of the show. He's gonna be tanky. Ooh. Yo, he's just he's like Captain America's shield. Jeez. Oh he got it. He got the metal arm. How does that work? Huh. What is he though? It's so weird. Dude, Chad is so cool. He's definitely my favorite character. Nice. Instant disintegration. <laughs> oh, okay. He's out of it. 
Yeah, it is armor. Wow. Something amazing was released. <laughs> All he cares about is others. Oh. Yo, don't kick him. He just got... He just... Just defeated a monster for you and got destroyed. Bring him to the hospital. The way she kicks. Yeah, why do they... Oh, that family just kicks each other. They just like kicking. I want her to get powers in no, in no way. Is she seeing stuff? Uh oh. Is she seeing that though? Nobody. Oh, okay. It's over. That's the end. That was a good episode. I really like that one. I, Cause I just, I just like Chad as a character. He's just such a cool character. He's definitely my favorite. And now he has he has unleashed his full potential. Well, we don't even... I mean, it's just the beginning of his full potential. But he has found his power. We got a little flashback. All his strength is for protecting, not beating others up. And I like that. I like that he realizes that. Very nice episode. I don't know why the dude at the beginning, the guy with the bow, unleashed all the... um. Why he unleashed all the hollows on the town. Maybe he just... I don't know. I don't know, but it's kind of a good thing because it's making everyone realize who has spirit energy that they, that that's what they have, that they can see spirits and that they gotta, they gotta defeat the hollows because all the hollows are coming for everyone with high spirit energy. So, so it's kind of a good thing. And then a bunch of the random hollows, the guy with the bow is just defeating. So that's nice. Basically, he's giving free training to everyone that has spirit energy in them which is pretty nice but um yeah that's basically all that happened this episode i mean chad i have no idea where that metal arm came from i have no idea because like most people like ichigo needs that little symbol to touch him to come out of his to come into his spirit form with his sword and his robe um or he just takes one of those candies and then and then the new guy with the bow has a little cross that like form is into his bow and i think maybe chad just punches and then he gets a metal arm but it's like a physical metal arm i think everyone is able to see it maybe it didn't look like it would only be seen in the spirit world but maybe it would i don't know maybe last time when he was also punching the the uh, hollow away from his parakeet he could have had a metal arm but we didn't see it see it because the show didn't want us to and it was like hidden in the spirit world the whole time but it seemed like the girl might have been able to also see it. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where his power is going. And I don't know where the show is going. But I like this episode. And I like Chad. So very good episode. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I just want to say before I go, thank you guys for all the subscribers and everything. All the support on the channel. Even though I'm watching these very slowly compared to the other stuff I'm putting out on the channel. Um, thank you. And we just hit like 730 subs, so we're getting close to a thousand. I'm guessing by the time the show Falcon and Winter Soldier is over, we'll be past a thousand, almost for sure. Because I mean, Marvel just the Marvel fans just love the content, and I get a lot of subscribers from that. So thank you guys so much for that. These videos usually get like less than 100 views, so I don't know. Maybe I don't know how long this. If I eventually get like bored of Bleach or something, because it is like hundreds of episodes. I don't know. I might just stop doing them if they're not bringing in a lot of new people. But I do like having these up on the channel for one day. Because like one day, people might want to see if I ever watched Bleach and then go through and watch all my Bleach reactions. So it's nice to have these up on the channel. But um, if there's ever a time in the show where it gets like really bad... Maybe like way down the line, because I know some shows get worse as they go on, like Supernatural. The first couple seasons are really good, and then it starts going downhill a little bit, um, especially in season eight. Oh my gosh, season eight is the worst season. But anyways, if that ever happens, I don't I don't see myself ever ending a show on this channel. I want to like stick it through to the end, but if a show gets really bad and then like no one's watching and everyone wants me to watch a different show instead, maybe I'll do that. But who knows? That could happen on this channel. Well, okay. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end it. Thank you guys for all the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video.